more than six wins in a row, a last minute winner, all that was needed was a few hundred fans behind the <laughs> I know, I know, and, and, and probably that's the things, as you say, when you when you take stock of it now, it's moments like that that people remember for a long time and people and that's why people love coming to watch football and doing that. So um, we're delighted with the three points, delighted just to put another um, another victory on the board and it's been a big shift for everybody this week. Does it say a lot that you obviously went one nil down to a goal that probably could have prevented it, but you turned the game around and won it? We did, and again, there's good, you know, I think the, the experiences we've been through as a group from Europe and, and, and everything in the last couple of seasons, I think we've got good pros there and good good heads there who, who can deal with that adversity. Um, and yes, you know, it wasn't an ideal goal to concede, but that happens in football, you know, and it, and it will happen in the future. The key thing is how you respond to that, and I thought the response from everybody today was spot on. And the winner, great ball, big likes, and Stevie Lurie won't score too many of <laughs> No, he's, and he just said he'd nobody mark him in the edge of the box, he thought there's no point in me standing here, and he drifted in, and, and it worked, and as you said, it was, it, the, the, the delivery from Glax was spot on, and there's no better time to score the winner. And no, at this point, maybe uh, we injury to uh, Stephen O'Donnell? Yeah, well, hopefully we've got him off quick enough. It's just a wee bit of crump. Or, and, and again, it's probably just fatigue from a three-game week. So, fingers crossed, um, it's not too serious and hopefully we've got him off quick enough. Transfer window closes tomorrow evening. Expecting any business? Or not at this point in time. We're sitting with 22 players, which we'd sort of planned for, which is slightly bigger than we normally have, but that we feel will absolutely be needed to get through this next phase of games because it's it's unlike anything we've ever experienced in the Irish League. So, um, we are sitting slightly a bigger squad than normal, but with that, we're going to need everybody in the next six weeks. But no, for us, you know, it's sitting perfect and we've good options and good areas and, and, and for us, we're done. And Clippenville on Tuesday night, a lot has changed for them since obviously the last time we played them, signed a few players and they're on a decent run of form. So. Yeah, they are. So, and, and again, just with, with all else into it, it's just it's going to be another tough game um, getting over the, the energy spent today and all that goes with it. So uh, we'll rest up, charge the batteries and, and, and we'll see what we have <laughs> and we go <laughs> go again Tuesday.